Hi guys. Um, today I want to talk about uh, Apex. Apex. Apex is an application. It's a social media app, and according to Apex or Apex, they say that they reward passion. Now, so what what do they mean by rewarding passion? Um, I think to understand what they mean, we'll need to look at how we are spending time on platforms such as Facebook, which is where I'm doing my live streaming right now. Uh, Facebook is taking credit uh, for this very live stream because they know that people want to watch live streams. So they know that there is attention. The, the whole point of social media and the whole point the people who design social media platforms design them is because they understand the return on investment of attention. So attention just means, for example, that you're watching this video. That's what attention means. It means that there is something about this video that you might find uh, to be useful. There is something that you might find to be of benefit. There is something that you might find to be of value. So you decide to watch it. And you decide to watch it uh, probably ahead of other things that you could be watching. So your attention, um, so all you have is your, t is your attention, all you have is your time. All you have is, and you make a decision as to where you're going to invest your attention or invest your time. Um, and normally we are looking for either entertainment or education, or if we can get both at the same time, that's an even better proposition. So there are people that will educate and entertain you at the same time. There are people who will strictly entertain, uh, entertain you like comedians, and there are people who will strictly uh, just educate like professors, okay? So if you want to strike a balance between entertainment and education, then I think you can attract even more people. But we're talking about Apex, and Apex is not yet being released, but I've seen screenshots of what the app is going to look like. Um, they haven't released it yet, but it's going to look almost like a Facebook. And uh, the only difference is that it's going to be decentralized and it's going to be distributed. So what does it mean that it's going to be decentralized? It means that it's going to be on a blockchain. And what does that mean? It means that they are not going to have a central location where your information or your posts or your comments or your likes are going to be um, are going to be housed it's going to be on a decentralized network of computers so that uh, if one computer stops working or one computer is out then um, the network does not go down okay so it's going to be a, dis a decentralized and distributed social application. That's what it's going to be. Um, welcome, does it show up? I'm just talking about Apex. Apex, you can look at it like a Facebook. So it's not yet out, but I've read the white paper. Last weekend, I actually went through the white paper. And they've also released a... They've already got the app running. Okay, and I've seen screenshots of the app, what the app looks like. And I can understand the business model behind the application uh, because I've used some of the, some applications which are like Apex, uh, but it promises to be better than some of these applications, but we will see. So for example, I've used an application called Steemit, uh, S-T-E-E-M-I-T. That's Steemit. That's an application. In fact, it's a blogging platform, this one. It's a blogging platform. But what it does is that 
it is based on an incentive so it incentivizes uh, it incentivizes the people who are blogging or posting or liking by giving them a reward in the form of a cryptocurrency okay i know some of these terms are not going to sound very familiar i'm aware of that but i think that we just need to start talking about these um, these applications which are coming up on the blockchain a lot of us have heard about bitcoin a lot of us uh, suspect that bitcoin is some kind of money some people still ask me if it's physical and i keep telling them that actually it is not physical it, it's only in digital form and it is decentralized and um let's see um i enjoy your platforms quite informative thanks uh does I, I i try to i try to be as detailed but also i try not to be too technical with some of these things for example uh, bitcoin and blockchain still very new to most people and like i said bitcoin for some people is just some kind of of money so they, they suspect is a new kind of money which it is but it's a it's in digital form so there is no physical counterpart to this bitcoin but bitcoin what it then come up with is that bitcoin is actually and that bitcoin let me say bitcoin with a capital letter B. So Bitcoin with a capital letter B is the technology behind Bitcoin with a small letter B, which is the cryptocurrency or which is the currency. So the currency Bitcoin with a small letter B um, is the incentive system for maintaining the Bitcoin technology. So the Bitcoin technology is what um, what is decentralized. So, okay so it's what comes up with the it's what is it's what uh, decentralization is all about okay so apex is an app uh, and it is reward based which means that it's an app which is rewarding the people who are taking part imagine if facebook was paying me for this um for for this uh live stream and imagine if facebook was paying you does it to up for having made that comment so that comment uh, according to apex if you're on the apex platform you would have been paid for that comment you'd have been paid for for a like okay londolozi welcome back um this time i'm talking about uh, uh, the blockchain and in particular i'm talking about apex which is an app which is coming up very soon uh, you can follow them on twitter uh, apex official on twitter just to find out what they're doing you can also follow them they've got a telegram telegram um channel telegram channel the, the telegram which is like the whatsapp so on telegram they've got a group and they've got regular updates there and i think as we speak they're actually uh in initial coin offering they are selling uh some shares i think or something like that okay but anyway they are, are reward based uh whereas if facebook is not reward based facebook is actually using us the people who contribute because if everyone leaves facebook today okay every investor who is in, who has invested in facebook will just walk away okay because they'll lose um they'll lose almost everything if Facebook, if everybody was to leave Facebook, which is why the hashtag uh, uh, delete Facebook, I think, the hashtag delete Facebook is actually not very good. Uh, it's not very good. Uh, the hashtag leave Facebook is not very good. And we've seen Facebook, uh, is it leave Facebook or delete? It's hashtag delete Facebook hashtag delete facebook has actually had facebook they've lost uh, billions of us dollars they've also uh, the the investors have also lost because when facebook loses uh, by billions of dollars it means that actually is the investors who are losing that money it also means that the share price is coming down okay so apex is different because it's reward based 
end it will reward people somebody just liked there i don't know whether it was uh Ru, but if anyone likes this video like now okay if it was on apex um there would be a reward not only for me but also for the person who is liked okay and it's 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 on a blockchain i know blockchain is a little bit but blockchain just means that whatever you post on the platform on apex uh, apex cannot delete it okay unless they might their policy will obviously uh, they'll try to take take care of the very extreme some things will be quite extreme maybe those could be censored but most of the things that are posted there would not be censored because it's on a blockchain and the blockchain will ensure that it is difficult for them and or for anyone for that matter uh even for hackers to go into apex and change uh, anything which has been posted or delete likes for example you are able to edit your posts but there will be a record of those edits on the blockchain okay so they are using this steam it which means they are rewarding people using the steam blockchain and the steam blockchain is associated with a cryptocurrency and that cryptocurrency can then be changed into other cryptocurrencies like bitcoin and then that bitcoin can be converted back into money okay so that's what apex can do in terms of the rewards right uh, i've underlined a few things here on the on the steam blockchain i mean on the on the apex white paper so we believe they say we believe in our mission to give people back their return on investment for the time that they spend on social media so we spent time on social media a friend of mine has just spent over two hours doing live stream from from his house in london he's just spent over two hours okay two hours is good for facebook because it shows how how valuable they are to the person who's doing the live stream so facebook is actually the people who benefit are the investors because if people are spending so much time on facebook uh doing a live stream okay uh it means that it's good for facebook and it's good for the facebook investors okay so the return on investment for spending time on social media is something which facebook is not giving to the people who are creating the content but it's giving to the investors who are investing more money into facebook because of the time that people are spending on facebook but what apex will do is that it will reward people uh, it will give them a return on 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 their investment a return on the investment on time which they are spending on on the apex platform and they will use a social they will use a, a cryptocurrency called zap or xap xap for zap okay so that is the apex coin like so it's like bitcoin so instead of bitcoin they have apex coin and the apex coin is called the zap or the xap okay so um i think what um, apex is trying to do also is that they are trying um to be a visual and and social they are trying to be visual social because that's what we are as human beings we are social and we are visual so they'll try to make uh pictures and video a big part so instead of having uh so it's so just like facebook where you can post videos like this one or you can post uh pictures um so on apex you'll be able to do that so the human mind is a story processing machine which means we process stories if i was telling a story right now i would i'll probably be having more people watching because people have stories and this this is why people watch the news 
because when you watch news uh, you're just watching stories being told so it could be the story of um, a robbery which has taken place the story of uh, what the prime minister has been up to it could be the story of uh, what a school has been up to and stuff so everything is just stories when we watch the news we're just being told stories okay which is why we like the news okay so the traditional revenue pr model is what these guys are looking at they're looking at the traditional um, model and then they are looking to uh, so so what is the traditional revenue model it's the fact that the users generate the content but the value is shared among shareholders okay so the users like you and me on facebook are generating all the content all the content on facebook is generated by the users but all the value of facebook is shared among shareholders okay and it's not their fault they've got a business model they've managed to convince us that we need to connect with our friends on facebook we are on facebook we've not been forced uh, to join facebook so i'm not blaming facebook for their business model but i'm just saying there is a new model uh, which is based on the blockchain which is coming up and there are already models which i'm also using now which are already operational okay but we've got this one which is coming up and it affects everyone this blockchain affects everything so if you are a teacher it's going to affect you if you are um, a journalist it's going to affect you if you're a musician it's going to affect you whatever you do in life the blockchain is affecting is a game changer is affecting everything and so we need to learn about it for that reason because there are going to be applications it's like the internet okay the internet affected everything the internet disrupted everything okay but this is like the new internet so blockchain is like the new internet and is also affecting everything but it's affecting everything in a different way because what it's doing is that it's unlocking capital it's unlocking debt capital it's unlocking so for example if i was doing this um this live streaming on one of the other apps that i use which are uh, which reward me for the time okay it means that i no longer feel like i'm just uh, i'm providing value right like now i know that i'm providing value but the platform does not uh, reward me for the value that i'm providing to the platform okay because i'm pro providing value to facebook facebook is investors because of you and me but facebook is not uh giving us that value it's giving all the value to the investors okay so um, let's see so database of users is the value uh so the database of users is a value uh, that facebook has it has a database it knows all about us all the information that we put on facebook is something that they use to get value so they become valuable to advertisers because advertisers want to sell us something and they can only sell us something or their advertising becomes very specific if they know exactly what we like what we post and all that so facebook provides all this information okay so that they can on facebook you can be very very um specific you can target exactly a certain demographic in a certain specific area you could say you want to advertise to single mothers who live uh, in east london and who eat or who buy chocolate okay so it could be that specific you could you could exactly get your adverts could go to the uh, Facebook pages of those specific people that you've targeted okay let me just see this uh, comment uh, my eyes are not very good anymore when is it going to be launched what are the minimum entry 
qualifications okay so they don't always tell you exactly when they are going to launch uh, but what these people do the, the people who are running ICOs uh, by ICO they mean initial coin offering so instead of an IPO an initial public offering in the traditional sense these ones are called initial coin offerings uh, or ICOs okay so normally what they do is they when they launch the ICO they are trying to which is what they are doing now they've just launched they've started selling some shares so as soon as they finish that uh, they might do another round of of uh, of trying to get revenue then after that they use that money to build the app or to launch or to whatever so once they start uh, like the stage where they are now within six months they'll be running and I've already seen prototypes of what they are doing and the usually there are no no entry requirements um, except that sometimes they just need to verify I think they just need to verify uh, an ID or something uh, just to make sure that it's you are the person that you say you are um i've seen that with the steamy blockchain it, it it took me about uh three or four days to be accepted so they'll actually have to accept you i don't know how these guys are going to do it uh, because the blockchain space is still very new which means everything that's being done has not been done before so whoever has is ahead okay is just acting as a a case study for anyone else uh who wants to come up with something with something different so they're always learning so if there have been mistakes made um the, the new guys are going to try and correct those mistakes so carrying on users pay with link uh, with time and attention so this is how we are paying to use Facebook, okay? We think that Facebook is free. We think that uh, Twitter is free. We think that YouTube is free. We think that all these social networks are free, especially WhatsApp. We think WhatsApp is free, but we're actually paying to use WhatsApp. We're paying to use Facebook, YouTube, and how we're paying? We're paying with our time, okay? So, we used to pay for our television okay by the time that we spend watching tv but now our attention has shifted from uh televisions we still watch tv uh from televisions but i think we've reduced the amount of time that we spend on television so we used to spend our time watching television reading newspapers uh listening to the radio um playing cassettes uh reading books okay but now i probably just listen to audiobooks instead of uh, buying a book on amazon to read i'd rather just buy the audio version of the book and listen to it while my hands are tied so if i'm driving for example if i'm driving instead of instead of using um in, instead of listening to music for example i just listen to an audiobook or i listen to a podcast uh, podcast is just like radio so what it means is that instead of uh, having the radio dictate what I listen to even if I've got choices between three or four or ten or twenty radio stations or fifty radio stations I still probably just listen to two or three different ones okay I think there's just so much choice on TV and there's so much choice on radio in terms of the channels or the radio stations you can watch, you can, I mean, you can listen to, but you naturally just narrow that choice to two or three. And it's usually one or the other. It's usually one or two stations that you watch. Um, so now, instead of paying, uh, instead of giving our attention and our time to these traditional channels which I've mentioned okay we've sh shifted our attention to something else to social media and Facebook is one of them and so we're paying to use Facebook 
by giving Facebook our attention and by giving Facebook our time. But also we're giving free content. So we're paying by giving them free content. So we're actually paying Facebook with our content. We're giving them content for free. They're getting this content for free. And they are using this content to sell their business model to advertisers, to investors. So investors are able to save value. So investors look at how many people uh, are using Facebook on a monthly basis, on a daily basis, on a yearly basis. And they use that to determine how much they are willing to pay uh, for shares, which are which for, 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 for shares at which Facebook could be going for. Okay, so what else did I underline here? I just underlined a few ideas. Uh, so, so this is what's happened in the, in the last few years. In the last few years, um, social media has come up with a new way of rewarding those people who are bringing more value. Because when you look at Facebook, for example, there are people on Facebook who bring more value to Facebook than others. There are people on Instagram who bring more value to Instagram than other people. Because if you have a lot of people following you on Facebook, or if you have a lot of people following you um, on Instagram, what that means is that you have more influence than those people uh, who have less followers. So because you have more influence, uh, Instagram is able uh, to pay you for being um, an influencer. Okay, so they call that a social media influence. So you could become a social media media influencer and get paid. So that's one of the models they're using. But what Apex is doing and what Apex and other decentralized uh, social media platforms on the blockchain, what they are doing is they are treating everyone equally. So I have influence even though I have less followers, but my influence is calculated according to how many followers I have, to how much attention I'm able to generate on Facebook, on social media. So um, I could be getting one cent per day, whereas someone is getting a hundred pounds a day, okay? Uh, but we're on the same platform. But because they are, they are more influential than I am, then they are rewarded more. So they've got this staggered, um, they've got this staggered way of rewarding people. And here's what, I think I should mention this just to make people understand this. When you're on Facebook, you can add up, you can post a video, you can post a picture, you can post, you can, you can like a post, uh, you can comment on a post, you can like a comment, uh, you can re repost uh, or share uh, a post. Okay, if you, if you repost, if you if you reshare it on your own, on your own wall or to a group or to a page and stuff like that, uh, on Facebook you're not rewarded for that, and you are spending time. Okay, you probably spend a lot of more time than you actually think you do. So on average, adults are said to be spending at least two hours on social media. Uh, some of them, that two hours is just. Uh, 90% of that two hours probably on WhatsApp and on Facebook. So we are spending a lot of time, uh, but we are not getting remunerated. We're not getting paid for it. Okay. So other platforms, other social media today, what they are doing is there's a, there's a, a platform called Patreon now. And this platform, what it does is if you join the, the Patreon platform, you can have your own group of investors or, or sponsors who will promise to pay you a certain amount every time you post new content. So that's one of the models that 
people have had to come up with so that they are at least uh, rewarded for the content that they are creating and for the time which they are spending on social media. Whereas the Apex platform is going to reward you for just picking up your phone, taking a selfie and posting it and you get rewarded for that. Uh, you get rewarded for all the comments that are just going to be coming in. So let me just read this. I ticked that the dream of all social media users, if only life, if only likes could directly turn into currency. So on Apex, likes turn into currency. So your likes, um, your thumbs up, everything that becomes currency. Um, so you earn income for posting and sharing your created content and users who like it benefit income from supporting the content and the user as well. Okay, so this is what Apex can do. And then I'll just read this. I, I wrote brilliant on here. I think it's quite significant. Let me just read it. With Apex, the road to online success has never been easier. Brands and verified users have the opportunity to create an integrated shop inside their social media profile by only enabling the shop function. So you can actually open a shop inside of the Apex uh, platform. It's just like Facebook has started now with Facebook Marketplace where you can you can buy uh, stuff and or you can also sell your own stuff on there. But Apex is going to just come with that functionality already enabled. Interest rates offered by traditional banks are on average 0.123%. So, you know, the uh, traditional banking model is so dysfunctional that this platform like Apex are trying to come up with a way um, so that people can benefit from um, from using the social networks in a way in which they are not doing now. Okay, so Zap technology, social media, monetary system. Um, so that's what Apex is all about. Radio took 31 years to be accepted. TV took 18 years. The internet took seven years for people to really accept that it exists. Even up to now, some people probably don't know about the internet. Okay, but we've reached a stage now where the internet um, is being accepted, just like paper money took about 400 years to be accepted. So the blockchain is a new technology which is taking, which is gonna take some time as well to be um, accepted. I've spoken to some friends and they say um, they would not join a social network where they are getting paid. And their reason was that, oh, they are just there to socialize, you know, they're not there to, to get money and blah, blah, blah. But when you look at how much time we're spending on social media, then you will begin to think that perhaps um, they could be a way, there should be a way in which people are getting paid because we are the ones who are making money for these investors. Okay, so Apex introduces the average social media user to the benefits of blockchain by turning contribution in a social network into a cryptocurrency. So your contribution would be turned into a cryptocurrency. And the cryptocurrency in this case is called ZAP or XAP. That's what's going to happen. Whereas Facebook, imagine if Facebook had Facebook coin, it means that if Facebook had Facebook coin, then it would be giving you tokens every time, um, every time you are spending time and your influence is um, and people are liking your posts, people are commenting and stuff like that. There are people who post three, four times and they get three, 400 comments on each post. Now, if that was on a social platform like this one, uh, you would go crazy with the amount of tokens that you would be receiving. And I think once people begin to realize that there is, I think 
probably because that's people are spending a lot of time on social media so i think that's going to be the entry point for most people into cryptocurrency and the blockchain they'll probably begin to appreciate the blockchain more uh, because a lot of people have always thought that probably the blockchain is the the blockchain is the important thing but the bitcoin is not for some people but i'll tell you that uh, blockchain has always been there okay but the problem is that blockchain has always been centralized and what bitcoin has managed to do is it has managed to decentralize the blockchain and and so which is why we say that bitcoin is actually the technology behind the decentralized blockchain okay so mission statement content and contribution is the new currency right so content and contribution is the new currency and apex is the environment appreciating this so apex appreciate uh, the fact that content and contribution is the new currency so your contribution on facebook is currency because it's making facebook billions so it has to be a currency but it's a currency in the form in which we don't appreciate it's currency in the form of a written word is currency in the form of a like it's currency in the form of a content of a comment it's currency in the form of uh, a, re, a, um, a, sh a shared post it's currency but we don't realize that it's currency until uh, Facebook presents those statistics to say look how many people are posting look at all these long articles look at all these videos uh, that they are posting and so that's where the value of Facebook comes from but Apex is remunerating people which is why i think facebook is in trouble unless they go ahead with their plans for the blockchain which mark zuckerberg talked about uh, but it's not really laid out exactly how he's going to do it so time is the human's most valuable asset okay it's our most valuable asset which is why um I always appreciate it when people are spending time on this platform because your time is very valuable to you and if you're giving it to me to listen to what I have to talk about then I have to appreciate that okay so time is the human's most valuable asset before you have anything before you have any money before you have anything to your name you have time so we all have time and it's how we're using that time which is important it's important how we're using that time and so um, we spend time just to do this live stream I'm spending time just to write a Facebook post I'm gonna spend time just to comment on on whatsapp I'm gonna spend time now apex appreciates that which is why they are rewarding the which is why they are using the blockchain to reward people for spending their time so users who create content are passionate creatives who want to share their work and freely express themselves through writing visual or video uh, content creation requires the most time and energy which the earnings are meant to reflect accordingly the, pro, uh, the people who participate in the network judge the payouts by liking content. Okay, so you and me are creatives. We create content and we get paid for it through a platform like Apex. And that's what Apex is going to do. Okay, it's going to reward us for the time that we're spending on it. Okay. So I've been going through the Apex platform and here is what the app. So inside the app, we're going to have fashion, makeup, uh, gaming, sports, fitness, art, music, dance, comedy, 
lifestyle, travel, food, news, tech, and charity. Now imagine a charity organization based on the blockchain. Um, what that means, what that means is that there is going to be less money being taken out taken away by the people who are running the charity because there have been cases or there have been reports that for every one dollar which is donated probably just 20 cents will reach uh, the recipients okay so that's a big problem but with the blockchain probably 96 97 cents will get to the intended recipients so we're looking so there is hope uh, in using the blockchain for donations and um, for um, and for charities okay so the technology so the technology is the steam blockchain which I'm already using I'm already using the steam blockchain on steamit.com so I know exactly how it works and um, I don't think there is anything else here from the um, from from the white paper. You know, white papers are quite detailed and all that, so I don't want to make this too detailed either. Otherwise, uh, it's not much of a bore. To first of all, what is this blockchain all about and stuff like that? Okay, so I hope I hope it helps. For people to realize that um, the time that you're spending on social media has not been in vain because it has provided probably the training that you need uh, for the next generation of applications which are running on the blockchain um, and the blockchain being not the technology behind Bitcoin but actually uh, Bitcoin is the technology behind the blockchain because it enables decentralization and a decentralized uh, blockchain is a very powerful thing and and so Bitcoin is not just about money Bitcoin is also about different applications in education in healthcare even in governance in voting uh, anything where records have to be kept, anything where a database has to be created, uh, just like mo money is a database. So money is a database and we are using, we, 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 we actually, when you say you've got a bank account, okay, uh, when you say you've got money in the bank, what you actually have in that bank account what you actually have is just a spreadsheet okay it's just a record of the transaction taking place um if everybody was to withdraw all their monies today from from the banks there'll be a run on banks which means there's not enough money in the banks uh, there's not enough physical cash in the banks to satisfy the uh, needs okay if everyone was to withdraw all their money there will not be enough of that money okay so which is why I say it's just a database it's just a record of what's come in and what's going out but the actual money is not even in the bank okay which is why uh, salaries are staggered and people because they have trust in banks, they will not go and withdraw all their monies at once. They will have trust in banks until they realize that banks are not a very good deal. And we can talk about that in another video. For now, I'm going to say thank you to Desi Chua Pu. Thank you to Bernard, Bernard Kureva. Uh, my eyes are not very good. I think I need to go to the optician. And chatting has to go on ever. So I'm gonna leave it here for now, guys, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.